in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Indians. Today is the media day of the World Series 2016. If the Indians win the World Series, they could become the second team in town, bringing a championship title on the same year as the NBA Cleveland Cavaliers. To do it, they will have to win four games against the best team in baseball this season, the Chicago Cubs. I think uh, last year we played some pretty good defense, but I think this year, I think this year we've played the best defense, you know, that I've ever been a part of. And, uh, and uh, I think it's huge, you know, when you have guys like Dex who can track down balls, guys like Hayward who's won Golden Gloves, young core that has the legs and the arms, you know, uh, to go through a full season, I think that's huge. And uh, the fact that we're doing it uh, with consistency and, and, uh, and uh, I think I think the biggest thing that we could pull apart from uh, this whole this whole postseason is is not airing. I think that we play some clean and feel clean outfield. I think that uh, we have a pretty good chance of winning this. It's a baseball game at the end of the day. You're, you're going out there and you're, and you're competing. Um, it's a great team over there, and uh, we're excited. Uh, we're excited for the challenge. Um, a very similar lineup that uh, that they've had. Uh, in the past several years, uh, very very nice lineup. Uh, you know, you've got some you've got some power in the middle, but my takeaway is they've just got a lot of really balanced, uh, uh, really fundamentally sound uh, guys up and down the lineup who are going to put together great at bats. Uh, if you make mistakes, they can they can hit the ball at the ballpark. Uh, but I, I look at Chisholm Hall, I look at uh, Kipnis. Um, Lindor. I mean, these guys are all uh, you know really, really nice players. Uh, you got Santana in there. He's got some pop. Um, I, I don't know if Brantley is is healthy. Brantley's out. Um, that, that helps us a little bit. But uh, I know that we got a, a young third baseman. Um, is it Cabrera? Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. I, I, I've watched him uh, throughout the year from afar, but. Uh, really like what they're able to do. Uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge for us. And that's why they're here in the World Series, and uh, we'll be ready to go. There's, there's everybody knows, um, especially in Chicago and uh, in Cleveland, I think both uh, kind of the, the history that's behind this series and the importance of it to, to both cities. And um, the players know that too, you know. We, but uh, I, I think I think there's a certain amount of that. Like we, we want to make sure we, we do it when we have the opportunity to do it. You know, we're here. We have the opportunity that hasn't happened for a long, long time. So um, you don't want to miss that opportunity, and uh, you realize the, the importance of that. Uh, now we believe we can be here for years to come. You know, as an organization, as a team. But at the same time, you know, you never know when you're going to get a second chance to do this. So um, there is a you know, that does add some way to the scenario here but uh, at the same time for us when we step onto the field we can't we, we can't think about any of that we have to just focus on uh, the fact that it's the same game we've been playing our whole lives same game we played last series um, and just let our, our talents our abilities and the, the execution and the preparation take over we see Billy every day. He's at, he's probably one of our biggest fans. To see so, see something like that, a guy who's you know Hall of Famer, has worn the jersey for so long, and to be your biggest fan, it means a lot to me. And you know, you, you saw it on his face. I mean, I read a couple of his quotes that you know this means a lot to him and for the city. And they've been waiting for a long time to be in this situation. Just putting all that perspective, you know, you know it, it, it makes us feel great about it. It's been 71 years since the Cubs have been in a fall classic and 108 years since they have won it. The Indians haven't been in the World Series since 1997. And the last time they won the World Series was in 1948. They had a great manager, they have good players, they're, they're a full team. You know, they just, they execute and they, they, they know how to manufacture runs. So, we've got to just play our game and, and that's it. We're gonna play our game. We, and that's our game. The whole entire year has been being aggressive. You know, just helping each other to move from base to base, um, driving in runs, not by home runs, not not, not thinking about home runs. You know, just playing the little, doing the little, the little things. We understand we we might not be on on paper the most talented team in the league, but 
uh, we enjoy playing with each other. We enjoy uh, playing for Tito, and um, you know we're just a bunch of bunch of guys that love playing the game. Um, we have a really good pitching staff too, so we're confident in our ability to go out there and uh, you know put up quality starts, quality innings, and give our team a chance to win. Um, we have the scouting report on them. We're gonna go over that uh, obviously sometime before the game tomorrow. Uh, like we would prepare for any any series. It's just because I know that it's what everyone grew up with. I mean, those are teams that everyone grew up with. Those are the families and friends that I grew up have are either the parents themselves are still Cubs fans or the guys and girls my age are parents to little kids now and they're going to Cubs game and showing pictures so it's just just like probably someone who grew up around Cleveland that are wearing tribe gear it's just what I grew up about around um, and it's just going to be fun it's it's it shouldn't be a con it shouldn't be a conflict it shouldn't be um, nerve-wracking at all it's really just one of those special perfect storms that kind of comes to a player's opportunity where you get to play in front of everyone you know I uh, came up with the Angels in um, it was 2002 when they won the World Series. You know, that was a big part of it. You know, that everything that the big league team did, we had to do in the minor leagues to be able to get to the big leagues. So it was something that you had to learn. Um, you know, and I want to be able to do everything. Yeah, I'm not the fastest guy, um, but if you pay attention to detail and you know have a plan and and anticipate, you know, you can be a good base runner. So uh, I learned a lot you know, in the Angels organization, but I mean, I can remember in spring training, uh, you know, I read a ball in the dirt and everybody's like, what just happened? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody can do that. You yeah. know, if I, if I can do it, you know, everyone can do it. And, I mean, I'm super relaxed right now. He doesn't put pressure on any players. He, he just let me be who, who I am, and uh, that's very important for me, too. This will be one of the most historic World Series in history. What's the first position you ever played as a kid? Well, um... First position I played as a kid, I, I didn't want to pitch when I was when I was little. I just wanted to wanted to hit, and my son's the same way. Um, but now uh, he's developing uh, the want to pitch, just like I did uh, when I was five or six years old. Um, so I pitched and uh, I played third base. So I did when I didn't pitch, I played third and I played first occasionally. But the first position I played uh, was third base. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. From Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio, this is Claudia Gestro for the LA Post Examiner.